Hello YouTube, look at the white GT now. I turned around and rebuilt it. I put white five point star mags borrowed from the mongoose gavel, some chrome forks with chrome pegs, GT gooseneck, and some extra parts that I had laying around to try to get this bike rideable. Um, I changed the pedals to these metal ones. I put white pegs I painted in the back. And as I said, chrome in the front. Shot of that GT gooseneck. So overall it looks pretty good. I've been riding it around since I rebuilt it, and so far so good. <laughs> it looks, it looks excellent. TT seat in per very good condition. I took like I, s it's still got that gray crank. So, well, gray and white, I should say. So, let's look at an old friend that has been on YouTube once before, but I sold it a while back to a friend. Well, they didn't want it, so I bought it back. The old GT Mach 1 is home once again where it belongs and is it is ninety eight percent stock and I'll show I'll show you in the video what's not stock um, it has its GT sprocket GT pedals get a shot of the one there's that GT Mach 1 and all the GT stickers are in excellent condition well except for on the forks they got a little messed up GT Mach 1 GT Mach 1 stack GT handlebars um, it has a diamondback gooseneck because the original GT gooseneck I could not find and the one that's on the white one didn't fit so sorry about that X Games handle grips um, GT seat post Rhino seat and of course black five point star mags borrowed from the black 2005 mongoose hoopty team issue but I rode it around where I live and a few of the friends that I talked to they uh, really like it the way it is so this is bike number eight two GTs and six mongooses. Go figure. <laughs> so, thank you much. Have a great day. Goodbye. And I hope you appreciate the two GT bikes I have. Take one last shot of the Mach 1. And goodbye.